Who do you see as your biggest competition? I think Calabro are my biggest competition because um, I think they've done quite well with the ladies. Um, and, uh, and also because, you know, kind of like Susan Boyle, the whole image thing, we expected them to come out and sing, you know, boy band stuff, but actually they sang, you know, operatic musical theatre. And I think that's what people love, the, the kind of like unexpected element of it. Um, that's what I love anyway, because, you know, they just look like normal lads, piercings, tattoos, and, you know, not what you would expect to come out of their mouths. So, yeah, I think they're my competition, yeah. Fantastic. And you mentioned Susan Boyle there. How much of an inspiration has she been to you? Oh, a massive inspiration. Um, I was actually fortunate enough to work with her. Um, I was in a choir of 30 at the Royal Conservatory of Scotland, and we were able to sing at about four concerts with her, um, just back um, behind the gauze, singing, you know, a few harmonies and stuff just to back her up. And do you know what? She's so lovely and so inspirational, and she was part of, you know, my inspiration of, of why I should go on the show, because... She kind of, she did that, that what Calabro have done, but on a larger scale of people assumed that she probably wasn't going to be very good or, you know, and uh, it just shows you that you can't, you know, judge a book by its cover, you know, she was amazing and if she could do it, then, you know, I could give it a good go. And your mum's become a bit of a star, hasn't she? Tell me how she's feeling about the final. She's excited. She's also nervous about the song change. She she thinks it's for the best, but she's just like, I just hope you can learn it in time. And um, but you know, I, I've uh, I've managed to work under pressure before, so um, it's you know it should be fine. Um, but she's so supportive, and uh, I just love her to pieces. And she's on the phone every day. You know, now what you need to do? <laughs> and I'm like, all right, well, you get on stage <laughs> and do that. <laughs> you don't be nervous. It's hard uh, not to be nervous. But, yeah, to have her there every step of the way has been a great encouragement and help. And will you have your family there on Saturday night cheating you on? I will. I'll have my boyfriend there as well this time. Unfortunately, he was working, so he wasn't able to, you know, get down. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's looking forward to it to it he's not actually seen me sing properly apart from on the semi-final on the tv so uh, t to have him there for the live final is going to be fantastic and uh, yeah and he's a scot so <laughs> excellent good good and what is the dream you know whether you win or not obviously you're going to have a, a successful career and everyone is talking about you what is the ultimate goal my ultimate goal is to be like Catherine Jenkins, but the soprano version with a bit more of a quirky style. Um, I love what she's done. Uh, she's another inspiration of mine. She's put classical music on the map. And I think for people that don't have a musical background or have not been introduced to this kind of music before, you know, really can latch onto it and enjoy it. Not to understand anything about it, because I don't feel that that is necessarily important. Um, for parts of the audience, I, I think that um, if they could just connect to a song with, uh, you know, memories or feelings, then I think your, your job's done. And, um, you know, and that's all I, you know, want to sing for, to make people happy. If you could perform anywhere in Glasgow or Scotland, where would it be? Oh my gosh, every single one. I think <laughs> the Hydro, I think that's, you know, I, I went to, to see um, Alter Bridge there and I was just like, wow, this is amazing, and it would be amazing to sing there. Or the concert hall, um, gosh, you know, city halls everywhere. It's just, just amazing venues in Glasgow. So, yeah, I'd, I'd love to be that. Fantastic. And finally, can you give us a little hint of what the judges are like? Do you have a favourite judge? I do have a favourite judge. Um, and it's actually David, because I think it's nice that you get the element of comedy in there, and, and it makes it, you know quite you know calming for us the contestants as well because you know um sometimes they pop backstage to say oh good luck in that and he's always the funny one and he always settles you whereas simon cowell is the you know the big one that um is very serious and i think that puts you on edge a bit so but he's he's my favorite um i actually love them all i think you know amanda is so sweet alicia is so supportive and and uh, I feel like Simon's kind of like backing me all the way. He seems to come up with quite a lot of positive, um, you know, critique. And I think that's the hardest thing, knowing that I've not had a bad run yet. And, you know, this could be the time where I do. 
and because you always have to be a step better than what 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 you've been before um whereas i've kind of just kept building up so uh you know to try and top that is very difficult oh i'm sure you'll be fantastic and hoping scotland gets behind you <laughs> i hope so i really hope so i know i'm english but this is my home and and i love scotland and I've, you know i said you know no matter what happens in the future this is where i will always live because um i don't i don't think without glasgow you know I, I don't think I would be singing, so I have a lot to owe, you know, Scotland. It's, uh, it's been the driving force to why I've carried on.